and then a bit more and then have a bite and then a drink. No drink? That's it, good boy! That one was very good. and welcome to today's vlog you join us on a mission I'm not sure I understand what the mission is Anna wants to hang pictures on the wall I don't know what pictures what wall or why I'm involved in the process do you like to explain more what is that where's that come from oh that was where is that is that Alton Towers or Legoland Legoland of Amy and Legoland Amy pictures and Andy, okay I, funny. I now understand what the pictures are yeah. where are we going and what are we doing uh, we find something to pick them up with what blue frames. tack? Right, so we're going to go and buy some frames and what wall are we putting them on? I don't know, we'll find them. That's one. Okay, looks like we're going to the frame shop. Um, They've got all the Christmas stuff out in here. Look at all this wrapping paper and tinsel and trees and forget picture frames. I want Christmas stuff. I have one of these because my air pressure light on my tyre thing in the car. I'm really technical when it comes to cars. There's a light on my dashboard and apparently it's for this one so I'm going to buy one of these because it's eight quid and saves me often to find 50p's to go and use the air machine at the petrol station. Have you found frames? Yeah, there. How do you know they're the right size? I don't, that's why I asked you. But what if they're the wrong size? I don't know, I'll cut them. What, you cut the frames? <laughs> no, I'll cut the picture. Do you really want old man frames like these ones? Do they not have any, they don't have a frame on? But we have black ones at home. Uh, they're just like old people frames. What I prefer the ones. The ones that are just glass with no frame on them. Oh, well, I don't like them, they're horrible. But they, that's what young people have, isn't it? They're horrible, don't they? Get your old lady frames then. May as well get a vase to go with it. Anna's now decided she wants one of these minion bins from right at the top there, but we can't get to them. Can't see them anywhere else in the shop. She's gone to try and find a man. Have you found anyone? No. Do you want me to give you a leg up? You can try. Which one, which one do you want? I could leap up there and try and get it. Minions. Which I guess one though? One that says Kevin, Jerry, Phil. Right. Oh. Point this at me, because if this goes wrong, at least we get 250 quid off your print frame. <laughs> now you're too small. I have to find someone with. Stupid shop. Oh. Can't climb out through the stuff either. This is much more effective than me jumping up there trying to get it. Still makes me feel less of a man though. Do you reckon I can teach Dave to read and finally have a cushion that he hasn't torn to pieces? Pumpkins! It's the middle of September. What am I going to do with a pumpkin if I buy one now? So I've certainly never eaten one. You right there? Do you want to just show everybody the top of that? So it's not actually a bin at all. Well, it's a bin. It's a money box. It's, for it's the too. biggest money box in the history of the world. Yeah. So that's Andy's new bin for his crisp bags, is it? Yeah. Awesome, you realise it's covered in eyes. Yeah, but he likes minions. Let me know down in the comments, do you think he's going to get on with the new bin or just stop eating as a result of it? Pictures are in their frames. As you can see, we're very skilled framers. I've lost my... If anyone's seen my, my picture hook kit that I used to put up all the other pictures around the house, um, let me know. Those pictures are actually moving around in the frames. That's not really ideal. <laughs> I think we need to get invested in some blue tack and some new picture hooks. But they are very cool. Not sure where we're going to put them because our walls are slowly getting co more covered and covered. When Anna first moved in, I had nothing on the walls in this house because. You said it wasn't allowed? Yeah, I don't really like stuff on the walls. I'm not really a picture kind of chap. Looking around this room now, it looks an awful lot like your flat used to look with stuff on every wall. I love stuff on the wall. You did. There was stuff everywhere. Not. In addition to those pictures, I have a little parcel that's just arrived. I don't know what it is. Anna's done the Mr. Got No Money speech, as usual. I definitely didn't buy it, so I think it's probably from one of you lot. But I don't think anyone's warned me that stuff is coming. Normally I get warning that stuff is on the way. So, it's a pop vinyl. It's a pop vinyl! Oh, it's the one I needed as well! Jack, Jack Edinburgh. Keep up the good work, care. There should be another surprise coming as well. See, a warning that I'm pretty sure completes my um, DC Bombshells collection. Oh, it's the Chase Edition! In my enormous collection of pop vinyls that I've got, this is the first Chase I've ever had. Anna, Chases are rare. This is worth money. Money! I 
a comment after the camera. Not that, <laughs> not that I'll ever sell it. Cause I'll take it out of the box and just put it with all the other ones. But that is awesome. Thank you, Jack. Did you deliberately send the chase, or have I just lucked out and got the chase sent? I'm intrigued now. But that is my DC Bombshells collection complete. And I don't think I bought a single one of those myself. So thank you to everybody who sent me DC Bombshells pop vinyls over the last six months or so to finish off possibly my favorite collection of pops that I've had. I need to start a new series now. I need to keep my eye out when we go to a Comic Con next month and see what exciting stuff has appeared since I last bought Pops. Any suggestions for what my next collection could be, let me know down in the comments. But Andy's going to be here in a moment. Thank you for the new toy. Okay. No, for face now. Yes, for face now. You know why he's saying no Thursday, don't you? Because he didn't go on Thursday last week. Get Jimmy Jams then. Uh, Andy, you've got a school on Thursday. I don't know how much yeah. of that you've heard as we've come in, but the Jim taxi driver's just come and said all the way home Andy's been saying no school on Thursday to him and uh, school on Friday, because obviously last week on Thursday he was off sick. There is, it, Andy, hand out your trousers. Thursday is a school day still. Yeah. So school on Thursday and school on Friday? Yeah. Yeah, good. How was school? Is it a good day? Yeah. Good. Shut the door. We'll go to church. I mean, we've gone from... We'll go. Very little information to it not even been filled in at all the now. Bugger. I don't see the point. Wipes, yeah. Pardon? Bugger for the wipes. Burger. You want a, what? You'll eat the meat? Yeah. Will you eat the beef? We'll grow down. You have to grow up. We'll grow down. <laughs> so you want to eat the beef in a burger? Yeah. During the day, yeah? We'll grow down. Yeah. We'll grow down wipes. Uh, and the eat the beef? It's gone, green, 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 What do you want? Go to the burger for Clinton Church. You want a burger? And you're going to eat the burger, the beef? Yeah, but thanks. No, Dave's no. Yeah. it. And the eat it. Yeah, then my church. Or do you want chicken nuggets at McDonald's? Do you want McDonald's? Do you want the burger? You want a whole right. burger? And you'll eat the meat? Yeah, burger in McDonald's. We're right. We'll only go to the church if you eat the meat. You can't just eat the bread. Eat the meat, yeah. So you'll eat the beef as well? Yeah. Well, that's, we haven't suggested that, that's come from nowhere, but we're not going to say no. We have no idea what he's done at school for the last two days because they're not filling in the sheet at all now, which is handy. But I guess we're going back out. <laughs> well, we've made it to McDonald's. I'm not entirely sure he fully understands what he's agreed to because he's now expecting to get three burger buns as normal, which we've told him if he doesn't eat the meat, the burger, then he doesn't get to go to the church. So I guess we'll we'll see what he thinks he's agreed to when we get in there. Right, we have ordered one burger, meat in as ever, but normally he takes the meat out and we take it home for Dave. The agreement we think we've made is that if he wants to go to the church, he has to eat the meat. Not necessarily expecting him to eat the entire burger, but we're also not going to let him get away with just a little lick or a tiny little nibble. He has to have a proper bite of it and eat it, or else we won't go to the church. That could cause problems if he thinks he's met the criteria and we disagree. He also has been saying grow down, so I think he's expecting, I think he's cottoned on to the fact that he's probably not going to shoot up four feet, and he thinks by doing this we're going to get the bells down, we're going to lengthen them. And we've told him that's not, that's not what's happening. We've tried to explain that by eating protein, by eating meat, he'll grow eventually. Here we go then. Eat the meat. You have to eat the meat as well, Andy. Excellent. Andy, you have to eat that bit as well if you want to go to the church. Go down. The meat is still hovering, hasn't been touched yet. But it's hovering. We start. That's it. No, you, no, you need to eat a little bit more than that. One more. You have to keep it in your mouth and eat it. So eat that one piece, eat it all. No, you have to eat it. No. That one? No, and we can't go to the church then. You have to eat that whole piece. The ropes, yeah? And then we'll go to the church. The ropes. The ropes. We'll go and look at the ropes if you eat that piece. Go down. You have to eat it all. You're waiting for 
Slow down. Okay, no church then. Do you want church? No, because you haven't eaten it. Chicken sandwich then. No, but you've not found the... You've had some poor boy. And he's putting it on the floor, it's in his hand. Oh, Andy. <laughs> 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 you still have, you can't just pull it in half. No, Andy, that's not eating it. That one? No. We said you were going to eat it. i have a drink. We'll just go home. That's what you should do, look. Take a bite, put it in your mouth. In your mouth and then have a drink. You have to swallow it. Swallow it. Oh, I know, baby. Have no. a drink, my boy. We can try again another day. It's really hard knowing how hard to push. Try a bit more. Or if we should be pushing at all. Go on, boy. No, come on. Keep it in there. That's it. Good There's boy. quite a lot of bits that are going in and then coming out again, but oh, he's not actually eating he's any of it. He's just swallowed that Good boy! Do you have a mouth on me? No. One more bit then. One. Keep it in. Keep it in. Eat it. That's it. Just chew it. Good boy! Oh, go on it! Oh yes, the good boy. No, keep no. it in. Good boy. That's it's it. in his hand. Yeah, he's eating a little bit. He's still got a little bit in his mouth. I can see him. No, I'm leaving him. I have a drink. No, leave it in. Leave it in have a drink. That's a good boy. And then we do one more. It's definitely progress. And then a bit more, and then have a bite, and then a drink. No drink. That's it. Good boy. That one was very good. good. That was the best one. That's it. And then have a drink. Good boy. He's a good boy. Andy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a little bit of that. That's fine. One more. And then one more, and then we'll leave it. I'm leaving. No, eat it. Eat it in your mouth. Leave. I'll take it and drink. There we go. Excellent. Good boy. He's a good boy. Well, I think we can definitely go to the church. <laughs> yeah, good boy. Whether that's caused him to grow enough, Do or we might have no, to eat no, some more another day. Good boy. I still don't know if this is a great we idea. Go to church. We can go to the church. Yes. See, the problem we've got now is he thinks the ropes are going to come down, which was never what we said to him. We said if he ate meat, he would grow so that he'd be able to reach them, which I know is still stretching the truth a little bit. But what I don't want him to do is get there and expect us to get the ropes down, because we just can't do that, obviously. But if we can get him to the point where he understands the connection between eating meat, protein, and growing eventually as a long-term thing, Get, become a way to get him to eat chicken and burgers and just little bits of meat here and there then that will be a huge huge result it is very very windy out and about apologies for the noises that you're going to be hearing as Anna's just yelled though it is going to be getting even worse we have some serious weather warnings for wind coming over the area we live in over the next couple of days I'm a little bit worried about Friday because short stay is getting the train over from Nottingham to Peterborough on Friday which trains north from here aren't running today so if it's still bad on Friday he might not be able to get the train in so we'll have to keep an eye on that on Friday morning but even if he gets here we've then got to drive cross country to Birmingham in very very weather warning -y conditions so a little bit worried nothing is going to stop me from going though oh I thought we had I thought we had a problem there we couldn't get the door open I guess that would have prolonged things for another day because that's outside of control then but let's see you look yeah you've grown a little bit you're closer than you were the other day you'll see when we watch the video you're a little bit closer we just have to keep trying, you have to eat more meat, Andy. More chicken, more burgers. Yep. And the more you eat, the bigger you'll get. And we'll get there eventually. Which? He's taking this rather well. I don't know how much help five foot mummy's gonna be. You'll probably end up lower than you were to begin with. My word. Mummy. No, I still can't be Oh, you're not stretching, stretch your hands out. <laughs> He actually might have been able to there for the stretch. <laughs> but then I guess we don't really want him to yet because we want to keep him eating. Yeah, him. Andy, what did you just say? Grubs down. He just said get fish fingers. He's willing to try, he's trying everything. So he's tried chicken, he's tried burgers. I hope I caught it on camera, I don't know if I did. He just, as he walked down, he said, get some fish fingers. What so, should we go to the shops and get some fish fingers then?
Has he ever had fish fingers yeah. before? He has. Okay, I was going to say, how on earth does he know fish fingers are a thing? The ropes don't go down, Andy, but by eating good food, you'll start to grow. But the ropes aren't going to come down. Yeah. No, they're not coming down. Yeah, we need to eat fish fingers. You're going to eat some fish fingers and then we'll work that way. The ropes won't be coming down. Andy. <coughs> Andy, the ropes won't be coming down even if you eat the fish fingers. Yeah. You can eat some fish fingers to help you grow, but the ropes won't come down. You have to get bigger. I mean, fish fingers are absolutely his idea. I'm just looking to see if they do like a bell ringing club here. So I think we've been told about, how we go, Glinton bell ringers, 7.30 on Thursdays. I wonder, I'm not averse to if he eats enough fish fingers and chicken nuggets and burgers that the bells might come down on a Thursday when he comes to, yeah, I use it as a reward. I'm going to keep this ticking over in my head. So I guess the next thing for us to figure out then is if we are going to bring him to Bell Ringing Club as a reward, what do we need him to do to get the reward? We'll figure it out. Do you want to come and watch them tomorrow? Oh, you want to cut the ones! <laughs> Not today. Andy. Yeah, fish fingers. So you're going to have some fish fingers? Then we'll down, down we'll grow, yeah? We'll, right. uh, yeah. We'll watch tomorrow, yes? Somehow this throwaway comment two days ago <laughs> may well have turned into something so very awesome. I don't, again, I don't know how much of that came across because we had a lot of the conversation off camera. But what he's basically just agreed to is he's gonna we're gonna go and get some fish fingers now. He's gonna have one today. So that's a burger and a fish finger in the same day, which is mind blowing. He's gonna have a fish finger today and a fish finger tomorrow. And if he does that, we're then gonna come to Bell Ring and practice tomorrow night at 7.30. So it's a little bit later than normal. And it will mean if you're watching this today it comes out, tonight's you now stream probably didn't happen. Because we're probably in there. But we'll come back tomorrow night for bell ringing practice. I think he's just realised what he's agreed to. He's trying to negotiate out of it now. He's trying to negotiate down to just one fish finger tomorrow. If he has one today, he wants to go back there today. He's tried to change it to he can stay in the car while I go in and buy the fish fingers. He's trying lots of different combinations. We are doing a stand firm on it. He's having a fish finger today and a fish finger tomorrow. And then we'll take him to bell ringing. Right, here's the fish fingers. Which ones do you want, Andy? You want those ones? The peas. The peas. Yeah. Do you want some peas as well? Yeah. You want peas as well? Yes, I will. He wants some peas as well. And then woods, yeah. Then bells. Let's get yeah. some peas. And then bells. Um, where are peas? Peas are in here somewhere, aren't they? Yeah. Right, Andy, come and grab some peas then. What peas do you want? That. You want some little peas? Have yeah. you had peas then, before? Yeah, the pot. Yeah. <laughs> We've got yeah. peas on the box, so he wants to have peas with it. Again, we're just not going to argue with that. What have we got here waiting for us? A delightful looking parcel. Yep. So, we've arrived home for a, for a very smashed up box that's just been left outside our house. So, if you're the person who sent this, I apologise if it's been smashed up, but Amazon have just left it on our doorstep. It looks like they've just thrown it from the van. Oh my word! <laughs> You absolute lunatic! Jack! Here you are Kev, after the stream on Monday I thought I'd send you some mints to keep your supply going. Anna! Look! Amazing! Look at it! Yes. It's the giant mints! Oh my goodness, that is insane! It smells so minty! I want to know if they're individual packets or if this is just full of mints. It's literally just full of mints! Thank you. That's insane. Right, Andy, you've got your fish finger and your peas that you asked for. Going to church. Then we're going to, going to the church tomorrow if you eat this. Do eat it while it's hot. One more. No, you have to eat it all if you want to go to the church and do the bells. Yeah, but the bell. We won't. Yeah. At night time. Tomorrow, yes. Yes, yeah, so you have to eat your fish finger. Oh, and rope. And rope, yeah, you'll see the rope. After school. At, at, Seven, seven. You have to eat the fish as well, not just the breadcrumbs. <laughs> <laughs> you, have the <laughs> so you have to eat the fish as well. <gasps> wow! Are you going to eat one of those peas you asked for as well? Ninky Yuck! Hello! I know. 
<laughs> Everyone's also getting insight into what Anna subscribes to on YouTube as well. Mm. You can have a pee. That's it. Good boy. No, it's daily, I mean. Not a fan of the pee then. That's alright, baby. You need to eat the fish, not just the breadcrumbs. Should we have a look to see what we've done then? Well, I don't think that's a bad effort, considering he's also had a burger today. He's not really touched the fish at all, but it's a lot more than we were expecting when we got home from school today. Something unexpectedly brilliant has happened. Not only did he eat the fish finger that we gave him, he took one off my plate, because of course, if we've got fish fingers in the house, I'm having some fish fingers for tea. And he's now sent me out to the garage for two more. Fish fingers might be the new waffles. I haven't checked how much protein they have in them, but they've got to have more protein than crisps and, and potato waffles, surely. This is awesome. He's not even he's not even relating it to the bells in the church anymore. He just wants some more fish fingers because he enjoyed the ones he had. This is we've had a lot of breakthroughs in the last year. This one. This one. This one is huge. This is life changing. If I don't know, it seems mad saying that about a fish finger, but he's had no protein source since he stopped drinking milk four years ago. If he starts eating fish fingers regularly. This could solve the winter illness problem for a start. Right, apparently four fish fingers is a portion and can, four fish fingers contains 14 grams of protein. So if he eats these two plus the other two, that's 14 grams of protein. Let's round it down to 10 because he's still picking little bits out of his mouth, but he's eating the majority of it. 10 grams of protein a day, that's ridiculous. That's huge. Oh, the dietitian's gonna be happy. He, uh, he didn't eat those two. Perhaps we all got a little bit too excited, him included. But it's progress for tomorrow. We'll try him again tomorrow. He knows that if he wants to go to the church tomorrow for the bell ringing, he's got to eat some fish fingers. So he'll be having some fish fingers tomorrow when he gets home from school. And fingers crossed, we get to go along to the bell ringing and a splendid time will be had by all. It might end up being our new every Thursday thing. Which will be fine. If you see what he's doing, yes. If you stop eating, it's going to be... But I now need to go and head on you now, as ever. The link to that will be down in the description so you can watch the replay of the live stream that I am about to do. But in the meantime, if you have enjoyed this vlog, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. And thank you very much for watching. Yeah!